Welcome back fans and friends for this upcoming video I have for you a 1994 Ford RS car is worth so this is the high performance version of this car usually used for racing and whatever else they did for with it and very popular aftermarket as well and this is from their one of the series I like the most and it's the Black Bandit collection because it's nice and simple but shiny and capable of being shown off and as the standard green light stuff, they do have the one die cast. It's just sorry about this. It's really highly reflective, the packaging. So I will bring that up in the next video, which is also an RS Cosworth, but it is three running on empties. So in case you missed this one, you can easily pick it up. It's probably every other series that have one of these. I just like this one the best. And it is series 24, 8 plus, 164 scale. We have the limited edition in French, the usual die cast metal chases. And so other than that, from the front, you can see the nice big sticker, 4002, for this vehicle. Everything else pretty much looks where it's supposed to be. No major defects on the wheels. The hubcaps even include the little Ford symbol on them, which is really nice. And just moving to the back, I believe this is the second most series I've covered because I have, for the most recent series, five out of the six. This one I've only done four. So I've done this one, I've done this one. I miss this one. Obviously, this car is one I have in my hand, and the Mustang I did in Wilds Away. I have another Corvette from Greenlight, so I'm not going to get that one. And it's the same stuff on the front there. You have the 8 Plus, the 164, Series 24, General Motors, Ford, and officially licensed product from Carroll Shelby, which is the CS there, and the Chrysler there. So the date on this is 335 2020, and the 14562 is the standard green light, except for it has X instead of W B. So why the Escort Cosworth? Well, it's basically almost become like their Datsun 510. You can pretty much find them on most of their series, and that's coming up very soon. Uh, I will give a preview of that in the end of this video. So here it is. I actually want to pop the hood too. As we can see there, the nice BB with the inlets on either side of it. The stripe in the middle is contrasted with the matte black and the stripe is the high real effective. The signature whale tail on the back there. And we have the driver's seat on the right side. So this one, we can see that it has the nice plastic for the windshield. It is nice and see-through most angles. There's a little bit on the top there, but it doesn't keep you from seeing inside. Yeah, so it's a little bit of, I think, uh, I don't know what to say, a bubble in the plastic. But other than that, the windshield appears to be mostly clean. So, moving to the front of the car, we have the Ford, the Black Bandit on the front license plate, lights. The turning signals are just painted, but the lights are inserts. So we can see the pins that go in there. I'm just going to make sure because the whole point, yeah, so the hood does pop. We'll get to that at the end. And we have here the wheels, a little bit of a... I thought it was a defect, but it's just the lighting. You can see there. Wheels spin nice and round, so I'm hoping that this thing drives very well. And you can see, read there, Black Bandit Racing, and then the BB. Of course, the first B is backwards, like on the plates. The rear windshields are tinted a little bit, which is kind of a disappointment because the front windshield is not tinted, so it's kind of unusual. There's the whale tail. Some people will be familiar with that. It's not it like a, uh, a whale's flippers fluke, sorry. And that's what that is. And then we have to the other side, just quickly, there's the gas cap. Everything else seems to be done very well. You see the nice, clearly the Ford on the wheels on either side of the bolts. And then I think it says Oz Racing there. And why I, I'm going to bring that up is because the other two Ford Escorts I have with me, there's actually three, they both say Oz Racing as well. And so there we have it. Escort RS Cosworth on the side, right, left side there. We have the Ford in the middle and the Black Bandit. Everything is just painted over, no inserts, nothing. There is the exhaust. And we just move to the underside of the car. You have there 1994 Ford Escort RS Cosworth. 20, sorry, 2000. It looks like it says 2019, but it's the weird way they do the one. So for some unknown reason, they do it and it looks like a two. So we know it's not 2029. And there's the 4002 from the limited edition. There's the rear-wheel drive transmission. There's the two mufflers for the high-performance engine. So you can read all about it. This is one of those cars where people love it because it was so aftermarket tunable and it was high-performance, made for racing. Apparently did very well with it, or at least okay. Replaced the Escort, sorry, the Sierra Cosworth. 
So a bit of a disappointment with this vehicle is the hood does not open very far. However, the engine is colored in three different details. So hopefully I can angle it so it's not. And there you have it. It looks really nice. Probably one of the more green, detailed green light engines I've done. Can't complain about that. And even better than that is we see, I see the rear view mirrors contrasted by my fingers. So just bringing that up as well. I happen to really enjoy this car and I'm going to show you in about two minutes why. So other than that, this is the Black Bandit Series 34 RS Cosworth. It's the first Cosworth I think I got and then I have a bunch of the other ones here. I will be going over them in the next little while. We will be comparing differences, this and that. If you want one, get one. By all means, I really do like it. And just finally, the drive test. And it goes. So it, there's no wobble, nothing. Look, sails right across the screen. So, fans and friends, this is Thomas from Toronto. Thanks for watching and till the next one.